we've gone on a bit of a different route today so I'm not quite sure how far this is going to be in total it's meant to be like 75 minute easy run but feeling pretty good considering all the strength work this morning the legs are feeling pretty fresh um, holding about 450 at the minute um, heart rate sitting about 134 which is nicely in that zone 2-3 um, so yeah let's go let's push why? I need a you what? I need a <laughs> so morning shake is in. Uh, mummy duties are done. And <clears throat> quick list of stuff needs doing today. And that is it for the morning. A uh, little bit of breath work done and now heading to the gym. Got quite a chunk of volume to do today. Um so yeah, starts with some threshold runs this morning. I like to do thresholds on the treadmill just because I, I enjoy that. I don't really tend to do a lot of any easy runs on the treadmill. Um, it's all kind of threshold or speed work. Top end speed work, I like the track. Threshold, sort of moderate speed work, I like to do on the treadmill. Um, and then easy runs, I like to just, yeah, go outside. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually contemplating a Spartan race in two weeks' time as well. This is just reminding me of my Spartan trophies. Got a few more where they came from as well, um, but I didn't have space in the office for them. But um, yeah, so six, I think it's six minute thresholds this morning. Um, when you work in threshold, there shouldn't be kind of any anxiety to start. Um, so yeah, so it, you know that you're probably going to be holding a too fast a pace on the thresholds if you have anxiety around starting um, or how your body's going to feel on those thresholds. Um, yeah. So let's get it. If I was to on offer an online masterclass optimizing health as an athlete, would it be something you'd attend? So what I would like to go into, health optimizing. You've heard this here first. So the depth of the relationship with self and how it can impact health and performance. Nutrition for optimizing health and not just performance. Why so much of commercial fitness supplement and protein market is dog shit for your health and performance and longevity. And how chronic prolonged stress is linked to poor athletic performance and chronic fatigue. And yeah, it's had like it's just it's had like seventy five swipes. Really? Mm -hmm. There you go. So yeah, as we as we move forward in this world of coaching, I believe that there is a huge gap for education around optimal health performance. So watch this space. You saw it here first. So we just stopped at Victor Victoria's coffee shop. Uh, Bells is just getting a quick coffee. Uh, normally I moan at her for drinking too much coffee, but <clears throat> to be fair, she's not that bad. She probably has one every morning, but um, I'm not going to moan at her because she's been awake most of the night with Mags. So yeah, we haven't quite got, get, got to the gym yet, but we're going. She said, can you please Hello, check my look. Oh, you have. It's the swelling, it's really, it feels stiff. Look. And I run in for you today. Julian! Are you okay? When you get to the end of your... This is all we've got today. Yeah, when you get to the end of your week and your threshold runs, you look like this. How you don't drink caffeine, I will never know. You're a hell. You're a hell of a human. I'll give you that. <laughs> cold showers, that. Cold shower does just as much as caffeine. It takes more than a cold shower to wake me up. It's all right. It takes me five minutes, and I'm fresh. You'll see the pace. I'm like, I'm like Sonic. What the hedgehog? You ever used to be Sonic? No, Jade, I didn't. I was a little girl when I was younger. <laughs> When that hilltop kicks in, we've got three minutes left of the last threshold. Sitting at about 355. Maintain that throughout the six by six. 
heart rate starting to peak a little bit in this last one though. So it might mean just pulling the pace back a little bit. So a little bit of recovery time after the threshold runs. Now set in a five minute EMOM. I've done a couple of working upsets, warm up on deadlifts. Um, we're going to go every minute on the minute for five minutes, eight deadlifts at 75%. Once we get to five minutes, it's then going to be every two minutes, and there's going to be three rounds where you're going to build up to 95% of one rep max. So, let's go. Yeah, strong, strong. Yes. Strong lats. The hair flick always helps, right? <laughs> About 205 per 500 average pace. One minute rest between each five minute effort. And then this is like mixed medal. It's like, that's what we're hitting at the moment. Woo! My heart rate's just gone into 200s on the box jumps, which isn't normal. So I've just like tried to give it time to come down. The silly sausage. If your bra's not even done up in the back. <laughs> Kind of sums up my week, really. Lid. <laughs> oh, 500 ski, 30 war balls, 15 burpees. It's just a bit of like skill set stuff. It's not really um, too much conditioning. It's meant to be quite repeatable. Yeah, it's not built for short people. Done. Oh. oh, that's big today. It's like three and a half hours of training nearly. We're making moves. So what a morning. Um, I've actually taken it quite steady this morning. It's, um, it's 10 o'clock and we've had quite a, a chilled um, morning. I think it was much needed, uh, especially with the announcement going live yesterday. The messages of support have just blown me away and I've taken some time this morning to just be really present with it. Um, I mean, you know, Emma, Emma Waring, I mean, a big shout out to her. She's popped up in the uh, UK High Rocks community group um, and just blown me away really and I've had so many messages of just support like sheer support um, this message here if any of you guys want to go up, you can't actually see it but um, your exit speech speaks volumes of you as a person not willing to compromise where was it um, On a personal note, Jade, thank you for everything you've done from day one at High Rocks. You put your own achievements on the back burner while helping to grow the sport in the UK, often championing many of your clients to reach their potential and not focusing on yourself. You've lived and breathed High Rocks for the last four years, supporting and helping athletes. You're authentic, loyal in your own beliefs, and for that I have the utmost respect. I hope now you've stepped down that you truly focus on your potential as an athlete and we see you on the star line of the Elite 15 next season, if that's what you're aiming for. Um... Yeah, so it's been that's that's just a little a little one message. Like it's been, yeah, it's been a really it, normally on a Saturday I get up, I'm training, I'm back at home by eight o'clock. But this morning, I really felt the need to just you know sit with all of the emotion that was kind of bubbling over the last twenty four hours. I'm going to train a little bit later today. I'm actually going to take bells and we're going to go get um, get a drink. We're going to actually go get some house plants um, <laughs> because yeah, uh, you know things move and you know it's it's really important to be be in and around things and people that bring you support and love so this morning is all about just being in flow being in my feminine energy just being and nurturing and 
Then um, I've actually booked a Thai massage. We actually have a Thai massage booked tonight at like five o'clock. So this afternoon I'll get my training done. Saturday is always my High Rocks Mixed Modal session. So it's where we kind of replicate that race um, on that day. So every Saturday is my High Rocks session. Um, so yeah, off to get some houseplants. Elsie's driving, aren't you, Shafir? How are you feeling? What did Cheeky? You call me? I called you Shafir. What's that? Where's the grumpy one in the back? Ronnie? Uh, hurry up. There. Where are we going? We're going to get some house plants. <laughs> Here at the garden centre, but we've arrived a little bit later than anticipated, so I've told Bella that she, because we need to train. It's now 10 past two. I need to get an hour and a half training session in, and we have to, um, and we need to get home ready for a Thai massage so I've told her she has 15 minutes as to find the house plants she wants <laughs> and also um these are cute look so what I don't know really just juice um so I've, give, I've given her a 15 minute time limit and she's just told me she needs the toilet so should we get Maggie one? Oh her claws would break it so Belzy you now have 15 minutes including no, the toilet go no, time starts there. now go this is why we're here it's my hobby people take this really seriously what is that what Pre, it looks like a car brand but leaf wash and shine i get it for tires on your car but your leaves <laughs> no what do you, yeah we've got time to go around the house leaf shining their leaves we've also got this mind you they did say the first um the first indication that you can look after yourself is to be able to look after a plant do you have any this plants? Is, no, but this is blowing my mind. Pump and feed. House plant focus. It's this for me. Look. Leaf shine, look. For £20. You can buy a... Shine your leaves. Pour and grow. Wow. I mean, I'm I'm happy. I'm, it makes me really, really happy, but... There you go. These are all our plants. This is the new addition. I'm mean, definitely not having that, though. This is the new addition to my office. So, this is a Chinese... I'm just trying to find a, a bowl for it. Who is it who said about a bonsai? You need to do something with a bonsai tree. What's a bonsai? Who was tree? that the other day? I don't know, but if you're listening in, just let us know. Look, this is a bonsai. <laughs> Someone said you need to something about good luck or something. Mm. I like. I really, really like these. Oh my god, pot. he's really cute. No, I like. I don't know if I like the top. But I like the pot. <laughs> Change you his hairstyle. Could. Do you like him? No. Look, making the most of your bonza. Bonsai. I told you, it's a thing. It's a lot thing, but it is a thing. Right, I'll I need to go. You look that, I'm going to go find a squirter. What have you got? Well, they're local, but I probably should really wash them. Probably got pesticides on them. Yum. But we move. Cool. We're now off to the gym. Productive. Very productive. I really like that sports bra. It's the um, world champs one. No, it's the adding together. When you're doing 800s in a workout, the treadmill's just constantly running. Just trying to add them together. But today's, um, oh, I'll sum up the session when I'm finished, but you'll see a little bit of this now. Uh, this is how the Saturdays go down, kind of replicating the race but not like a, I'd never do a full simulation every week. Actually, I can't remember the last time I did a full simulation, so um, it's very race specific every Saturday. Holding somewhere between threshold pace and zone two, which for me is about 4.10. So you can see I'm still able to talk five rounds in. I've been working for like 43 minutes, so yeah, that's the goal with the running. I'm not all out right now. Saturdays and Saturday nights 
is usually steak nights. Bells has got her own version of surf and turf. Looks absolutely banging. We've got garlic, mushrooms, halloumi, watercress steak. Sweet potato fries for Belzy. Baked sweet potato for me. Avoiding those rancid oils. <laughs> Bells likes hers pretty much raw. Look at that. Whereas I'm a little bit more cremate mine. Bit of smashed avo. Kombucha. That is what we call Saturday night feels. You know what's good for you as well, don't you, huh? Magsy? Yeah. Have you just had all the steak cuttings of the fat? No. Someone's feeling a lot better now. Poops, finally after five days, are normal. And we have a spring in our step, don't we, huh? So this is the result. The results are in. The naming ceremony is going to start tomorrow. These are going to be... These are going to be our new houseplants. These ones need replacing, poor things. So Maggie's going to go in them. These ones are going to replace those two. I've got my one in my office, and then we just have to name these these bad boys and put them somewhere. Ah, successful day. These pictures up here, by the way, are real photos that we took. So these actually weren't ordered. Bells actually took them when we were on a trip in San Francisco. <coughs> Little fun fact for you all. I'm the one saying I'll go to the ones about the fireplace. <laughs> ah. And then this is our random boyfriend <laughs> that just lives in our house. That everyone that comes around that doesn't know Rome <coughs> asks, why do we have a picture of our weird boyfriend? <laughs> This was actually a Chrissy present from Rome. He's the best. finish the uh, the strength aspect of it upper body lower body uh, split um, yeah I am listening to my body and I'm actually gonna push my run back to this evening uh, just body doesn't feel ready to go I know it's an easy plod but I think uh, getting a little bit more fuel in and allowing the heat to drop a little bit so it's a little bit cooler tonight will give me the best outcome for the run so gonna tackle that one a little bit more maybe like five six o'clock tonight so yeah home bit of food post uh 
post strength session is always a protein shake with collagen, sea salt, kaizen protein. Um, and yeah, I normally get that in within 20 minutes of it, so better be gone. Okay, so this doesn't look that appetizing, but they are scrumptious. So this is protein pancakes. Living fuel protein for these ones because Kaizen's non flavored. So this is vanilla uh, with a banana, two eggs, and that is it in the mixture. Cooked in coconut oil, almond butter, dolloped on there. These are some organic berries heated up slowly with a little bit of honey. Go oh, on. God, it's amazing. She's such a dare. You Miss guys pee? Aww. My little Sunday pause buddy. This is Misty. Misty Kitten's having babies. Misty yeah. Kittens! <laughs> You're chilly. Oh, sorry. Oh, we call you Misty Kittens. Misty Kittens. Did you know she's preggers? Yeah, you told me, oh. Wally. Did you come back in for part two? I reckon I probably use about a pint of sweat, you know. I reckon. We're like... Take as least time as possible between the hot and the cold. Not cold enough, really. So my heart rate when I came out of the sauna was about 105. So my thoughts are I've really done a lot of research on the benefits of like aerobic work, but my thoughts are that that's always going to benefit your zone 2 cardio. Like if your aerobic system and your your cooling system is working over time to bring your heart rate up, um, then it's only going to have massive benefits on your, you know, if your heart rate staying elevated for a period of time, you know, three lots of 20 minutes with a heart rate at like 105. Now I've been in the cold for, what, like six, just over 60 seconds. My heart rate's back down to... 56, so it shows you how quick the cold then contrasts and brings the heart rate back down, so... Woo! Should really have my shoulder on there. It's usually colder than this, but... Yeah, I'm actually being a... being sent a tank. Aren't I? So, that should be really exciting. Woo! And then my YouTube went live, um, uh, regarding me stepping down as master trainer, so... I think that's had something crazy like 250 views in the last like 10 minutes since I launched it. So, um, yeah, I feel like a bit of a breath of fresh air. I've had some lovely messages of support, um, you know, because it is, it is emotional and it is, you know, a moment, you know, where you, you know, when you're so emotionally attached to something, like I said earlier on this vlog, on the vlog before, you know, um, it is a big decision. Um, so the love and support I appreciate from everyone. And then we've grabbed Buddha bowls from our favourite place in Cambridge. So this is like just quite basic chicken, cashew nuts, spring onion, um, brown rice, beetroot, uh, mango, carrot. So uh, grabbed one of them for dinner on the way home. And then it's going to be an early night, methinks, because, yeah, been a long, long ass week. Um, need an holiday. Oh. <laughs>